Hello, this blog, or vlog if you prefer, is intended to give you a quick introduction to Payara Micro, specifically regarding where to get it and how to run it. If you aren't aware, Payara Micro is a cut down distribution of Payara server intended for use as a platform for microservices. So, starting off, the easiest place to grab Payara Micro from is from the Payara website, www.payara.fish slash downloads. Scroll down a little and we'll find the latest public release of Payara Micro, currently 164. Once we've got that, using a terminal, command prompt, PowerShell, or whatever your preferred magic window is called, we can start Payara Micro by running java minus jar payara dash micro dash four dot one dot one dot one six four dot jar. As a quick aside, I am assuming that you have a JDK installed. If you don't, well, you'll need one. If you stare hard enough at the log messages flying by, you'll spot this ready message, signifying that Payara Micro has finished booting and is ready for action, though it's not really doing anything at the moment. To make it do something more interesting, I'm going to demonstrate the automatic clustering achieved via Hazelcast. In a new terminal, start a second Payara Micro instance in the same way that we did the first, with the addition of the dash dash auto bind HTTP option. Payara Micro has various configuration options that can be passed in as you start it, with this particular option configuring the micro instance to search for a free network port to bind its HTTP listener to if the configured one is already in use. For this particular example, it will bind itself to 8081 since the default port of 8080 is already being used by our first instance. A full list of the Pyara Micro configuration options can be found in our Gitbooks documentation. Now that we've started two instances, we can see from the logs that the two instances have automatically discovered each other and formed a cluster. That's a bit more exciting, but both instances still aren't really doing much, so let's deploy an application to one of them. Kill one of the micro instances by cancelling its process, left control and C for those unfamiliar with terminals, and start it back up again with the addition of the dash dash deploy option. This option, as the name implies, has Pyara Micro attempt to deploy the provided file to the instance as it starts. In this case, we'll deploy the venerable cluster JSP application, an old favourite of ours, so I'll type out the path to its location after specifying the dash dash deploy option. Skimming through the logs again, we should eventually see a message informing us that our instance started with one deployed application. And there it is. And just to prove that it's actually there, cool. One micro instance started with an albeit small application deployed in under 10 seconds. Not bad. That about covers what I wanted to in this vlog, but for those of you who'd like to look a bit deeper into this, the source code for Payara Micro is available on GitHub under the Payara project. The bulk of the micro code is in app server extras Payara Micro, so you can play around with it there to your heart's content. As a quick heads up for those who intend to do just that, the distribution jar is not a part of the standard build cycle anymore, so you'll have to build Payara with the build micro profile like so. Maven, clean install, dash capital P, build micro, with a capital B and a capital M. Now that about wraps up this blog. In the new year we'll be looking to release a similarly styled introductory blog for using the Payara micro API so keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to leave a comment or get in contact with us via one of our social media accounts, at Payara underscore fish on Twitter, and Payara on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.